Princess Beatrice's wedding will be paid for privately in a dramatic break from royal tradition. Buckingham Palace confirmed the move, which comes after Princess Eugenie's big day cost British taxpayers around pounds two million. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, are not working royals but they still warrant spectacular weddings. When Princess Eugenie tied the knot with Jack Brooks Fink on October 12, 2018 her royal wedding was estimated to have cost the British public around £2 million, according to anti-royal campaigning group Republic. British taxpayer money traditionally goes towards royal weddings to help towards security costs. However, this will not be the case for B's big day, Buckingham Palace has confirmed. The cost of Princess Beatrice's wedding to Eduardo Matlimazzi will be met privately, a palace spokesman told. Ahead of Eugenie's wedding a petition against public funds going towards it was signed by 14,000 outraged British taxpayers. Speaking ahead of her nuptials, a Republic spokesman said, There is a strong feeling, even among monarchists, that we shouldn't be paying for Eugenie's big day. Most Brits opposed taxpayer funding of Prince Harry's wedding but as with all royal events were forced to accept it. But there's something different about, the, royal wedding, and people aren't happy. While it has not been confirmed whether this backlash prompted the royals to change tact with Beatrice, Republicans will be relieved to hear no public funds will go towards the next royal wedding. Princess Beatrice's royal wedding will be the fourth in three years. When Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tied the knot in May 2018, the Grand Royal Wedding also came with a hefty £32 million bill. And the majority of the huge sum, which was paid for by the taxpayer, went towards security, a whopping £30 million. The royal family foot the bill for the more personal aspects of the couple's wedding, such as flowers and reception costs. A statement from Kensington Palace at the time said, as was the case with the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the royal family will pay for the core aspects of the wedding, such as the church service, the associated music, flowers, decorations, and the reception afterwards. The figure is believed to be £8 million more than Prince William and Kate's Westminster Abbey wedding in 2011. A date and venue are yet to be set for Beatrice's big day. But last night Sarah Ferguson revealed it would definitely be in the UK, saying, it can only be Britain. The revelation followed rumors Ado and B could opt for an Italian wedding in the groom's homeland. Following the news of Eduardo and Beatrice's engagement Sarah and Prince Andrew, who divorced in 1996, released a joint statement. The statement read, We are thrilled that Beatrice and Eduardo have got engaged having watched their relationship develop with pride. We are the lucky parents of a wonderful daughter who has found her love and companion in a completely devoted friend and loyal young man. We send them every good wish for a wonderful family future. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo were long-term family friends before they began dating 11 months ago. Following the whirlwind romance, the couple have said they can't wait to tie the knot. A joint statement from Beatrice and Eduardo read, We are extremely happy to be able to share the news of our recent engagement. We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to actually be married. We share so many similar interests and values and we know that this will stand us in great stead for the years ahead, full of love and happiness. Wedding bells are ringing and church choirs are singing. Princess Beatrice is engaged. The royal said yes to her fiancé, property developer Eduardo Mazzi, earlier this month in Italy. The engagement was announced last week. Princess Beatrice was one of the last of the royal cousins to get engaged. Her younger sister Eugenie was married to Jack Brooks Bank last year. Prince Harry was also married last year and Prince William has been married since 2011. Now that most of the Queen's grandchildren have been engaged, we can finally see who had the most expensive engagement. Princess Beatrice Princess Beatrice's engagement was announced on the royal family's Instagram. The Duke and Duchess of York are delighted to announce the engagement of Princess Beatrice to Mr. Eduardo Mazzi, the post read. Her Royal Highness and Mr. Mazzi became engaged in Italy earlier this month. 
The wedding will take place in 2020. This photograph was taken by Princess Eugenie in Italy. Princess Beatrice and Mr. Eduardo Mapli Mazzi said, We are extremely happy to be able to share the news of our recent engagement. We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to be married. Beatrice's platinum engagement ring was designed by her husband to be in jewelry designer Sean Lean. Experts have guessed that her ring cost around $310,000. Meghan Markle's engagement. After a whirlwind romance, Prince Harry and Markle were engaged on November 17, 2017. The news was announced in a statement by Clarence House and came complete with an engagement photo shoot and interview. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales is delighted to announce the engagement of Prince Harry to Ms. Meghan Markle, the announcement read. His Royal Highness and Ms. Markle became engaged in London earlier this month. Prince Harry has informed Her Majesty the Queen and other close members of his family. Markle's ring was designed by Cleave and Company and contained nods to Harry's mother, Princess Diana. The little diamonds on either side are from my mother's jewelry collection to make sure that she's with us on this crazy journey together, Harry said in their engagement interview. Time reported that the three-carat diamond would retail for about $200,000. Princess Eugenie Beatrice's sister, Eugenie, got engaged in 2017. Though her engagement was announced after Harry and Markle's she was said to have wanted to get married earlier. It's my understanding that Eugenie and Jack decided some time ago that they wanted to get married, and there was some talk about a wedding in 2017, but they had to wait for Harry to go first, a source told Vanity Fair. The feeling among the Yorks is that she deserves her moment in the spotlight and a big royal wedding with all the frills. It has been estimated that Eugenie's ring cost around $80,000.